And if you can't ask any guy in your contact list for money, you need to delete them all. Delete them all. Get rid of them all. Waste men. Those are waste men. There is no difference between you and the pretty privileged girls that you see online. You got the game all messed up. These broke men really made y'all believe that asking means you're begging. What's going on YouTube? Back with another video. You know what it is. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get into this video. Let's see what's going on in these streets. So here we go. As a woman, you should not be broke. Yep. And if you can't ask any guy in your contact list for money, you need to delete them all. Delete them all. Get rid of them all. Yep. Waste men. Those are waste men. There is no difference between you and the pretty privileged girls that you see online. You got the game all messed up. These broke men really made y'all believe that asking means you're begging because they want to get what they want from you for free. Think that asking a man for money means you're begging? Then I'm sorry, sweetie. You're going to be last in this game. And you wonder why the men that you attract are all feminine so let me get this straight if i decide to keep my money invest it diversify my portfolio and have a fiduciary responsibility to my family and friends i'm waste <laughs> the loudest person in the room is usually the brokest i mean these types of women are chronically broke themselves if anything she is projecting no real idea or concept of money succubus spirits that draw men in with their beauty and sexual appeal however they don't move in good faith and intentions when in the dating market what we typically say in toronto a we as catty this wow you almost had me in the beginning mamacita beautiful chocolate queen give me that mic what the heck are you doing girl i was with you all the way up until you started saying that one of the things a lot of women say is that men want something from you. And I know the want you're talking about, that starburst. So you're willing to exchange that for money. Doesn't that make you a GTA stripper? <laughs> Doesn't that make you a street walker of the night? Hey, hey, you said it. Just correct me if I'm wrong. And I'm okay with taking criticism. And if I'm wrong, I'll say it. But you said it. That's how I'm thinking. That's how I'm thinking. Now, all jokes aside. Do you guys see why men feel so belittled, so used, and like nobody cares about them and nobody wants them only solely for their money? Do you get why men probably don't put in as much effort? Because when you see the energy is not reciprocated, what do you think they do? Oh, I'm going to go full hard for this girl. No, what's the point? I'm not getting love in return. I'm not getting anything in return. And then when women make videos like this, you're making it harder. You're making it harder for people to want to find love and want good women because good women don't just use somebody. Yes, I'm okay with a woman being traditional and being the stay at home mom getting taken care of, but you're doing your part. You're taking care of that man. You're feeding him. You're loving him. You're reciprocating the energy. It's a love exchange, baby. We not users. We not leech. Well, at least I'm not. And then she keeps saying broke. You're the one who's asking for money and he's the broke one. Oh my God, hold on. Now, calling somebody broke constantly, dude, you are the brokey. You don't even have money. You're asking somebody for money and then you're roasting them or getting mad at them because they don't give you money. Who do you think you are? You women are so entitled and think somebody has to give you a handout and give you money and all that, but yet you put in no effort. And then I'm sorry, like what is the point of these type of videos? I'd be embarrassed to make a video like this. Asking for a handout, spare change? No, dude, stop. And I just get really bothered at seeing a lot of women that don't understand how powerful they would be if they pushed themselves to do better, be greater. You guys, I'm almost close to making six figures just doing this influencer thing. And I don't show my body. I don't ask for handouts. I did it all on my own. Podcast coming probably in the beginning of October, y'all. Come on, work, ladies. Damn, stop being lazy. Yeah, I mean, she has a point. We live in a society where women can literally be anything. There's so many grants, loans, organizations backing women to have equal rights, having the opportunities for jobs. However, these types of women will resort to the path of least resistance, targeting weak men to feed into their ecosystem, of delusion gets the most attention from women is not giving them attention absolutely women just want attention that's it you give them attention they'll give you whatever they want isn't that counterintuitive not really if you make a girl laugh she'll literally do anything for you give her some food she'll be happy instead of hangry that is kind of true except that it comes to a point where it's like okay i'm done with you you know 
Yeah, I, I don't know. Like, women, nobody wants, like, someone that doesn't give them attention. Yeah, women definitely feed off of attention a lot more yeah. than men do. I feel like as a woman, a man should be obsessed with me. Okay. It's a point not to where, like, he wants me or anything, but he should be obsessed with me to where, what are you doing, where are you at, all of that. Me as a female, if I can go talk to somebody or flirt with somebody and I see automatically that they're just all over me, it turns me off straight away. But if I go to you and I'm kind of like flirty with you, but you're like hesitant or you don't show me no attention, in my mind, I'm like, why? What? What the f Not all, not all. Women are fickle creatures. They like the idea of a challenge and mystery. The urge to get you to conform to their corrosive ideology is a double-edged sword. The very thing that she wants, which is the over-validation and hyper-attention, is the very thing that will turn her off. Women will have those guys around, which they call beta orbiters, that they have zero interest in, they use them for hot meals, and quick dopamine hits. Remember, fellas, your pain and heartbreak in life happens earlier on, but it definitely gets better through time, money, wisdom, and experience. Trust it's me, true. when it gets to the point where you're like, oh sugar, I've actually lost a good guy here, then they that, that, hit. Then it definitely hits. Right? That's when it hits, when you're like, oh actually, I realized I've gone from this guy, I've tried this guy, and it all sort of similar, and I had that one good guy, but I left him because he didn't drive. Because you know what? Mm. Yeah, the other That's what we call hitting the wall. The carousel of men does come to an end, and the mad scramble and random Facebook messages start to begin. <laughs> all right, so first commenter says, people are missing the concept of what she is saying hold on hold on hold on hold on i mean did i miss something let's go ahead and play this again let's let's see exactly what she had to say trust it's me true. when it gets to the point where you're like oh sugar i've actually lost a good guy here then they that, that, hit. That, that definitely hits right? that's when it hits when you're like oh actually i realized i've gone from this guy i tried this guy and it all sort of similar and i had that one good guy but i left him because he didn't drive because you left him because he didn't drive you wanted a man that was already built aka a brand new car from a metaphoric perspective you wanted him to have an exhaust carbon fiber tips v8 engine sports spoiler you wanted it all but you ended up with a geo metro all right so next commenter says some women are too funny these kind of chicks deserve eternal sadness and monotony most women want the guy with the bells and whistles the quote-unquote perfect man but if he asks you to lose weight and to work on your attitude, then he's considered toxic. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Let me know what clips stood out to you the most. And until next time.